this. Okay, if everybody wants to stand, and if you don't want to, <laughs> do it anyway. <laughs> and turn to page 10, and power in the blood. And if oh, Lord. <laughs> Would you be free from the burden of sin? There's power in the blood, power in the blood. Would you or evil a victory win? There's wonderful power in the blood. There is power, power, wonder-working power in the blood of the Lamb. There is power, power, wonder-working power in the precious blood of the Lamb. Would you be free from your passion and pride? There's power in the blood, power in the blood. Come for a cleansing to Calvary's tide. There's wonderful power in the blood. There is power, power, wonder-working power in the blood of the Lamb. There is power, power, wonder-working power in the precious blood of the Lamb. Would you be wider, much wider than snow? There's power in the blood, power in the blood. Sin stains are lost in its life-giving flow. There's wonderful power in the blood. There is power, power, wonder-working power in the blood of the Lamb. There is power, power, wonder-working power in the precious blood of the Lamb. Would you do service for Jesus, your King? There's power in the blood, power in the blood. Would you live daily His praises to sing? There's wonderful power in the blood. There is power, power, wonder-working power in the blood of the Lamb. There is power, power, wonder-working power in the precious blood of the Lamb. We're so thankful for that wonder-working power in the blood. We may not understand everything, but we know that that's the way that God intended for things to be. And he, his son willingly went to the cross to die for us. And we have that blood now, and the devil can't go through it. Okay, let's turn to page, I think it's 294. Let me look. Yeah. <laughs> yep. That's my. <laughs> I know, it's funny, we used to do that all the time. Okay, it's in, it's in A. He's making. I heard an old, old story How a Savior came from glory How he gave his life on Calvary To save a wretch like me I heard about his groaning Of his precious blood's atoning then I repented of my sins and won the victory. Oh, victory in Jesus, my Savior forever. He sought me and he bought me with his redeeming blood. He loved me ere I knew him, and all my love is to him. He plunged me to victory beneath the cleansing flood. I heard about 
out his healing, all this cleansing power revealing how he made the lame to walk again, and he calls the blind to see. And then I cry, dear Jesus, come and heal my broken spirit. And somehow Jesus came and brought to me the victory. Oh, victory in Jesus, my Savior forever. He sought me and he bought me with his redeeming blood. He loved me ere I knew him. And all my love is to him. He plunged me to victory beneath the cleansing flood. I heard about a mansion he has built for me in glory. And I heard about the streets of gold beyond the crystal sea. About the angels singing And the old redemption story And some sweet day I'll sing up there The song of victory Oh, victory in Jesus My Savior forever He sought me and he bought me with his redeeming blood he loved me ere i knew him and all my love is to him he plunged me to victory beneath the cleansing flood All right, we're going to take the offering up now, or receive the offering, however you want to say it. Sing Amazing Grace. That wasn't the one I had picked out, but let's sing that. And I don't even know what page is on. What page is on? <laughs> well, I thought you knew everything. <laughs> and that's in A also. Amazing Grace. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm sorry. Was that A? Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind, but now I see. Twas grace that taught my heart to fear, and grace my fears relieved. How precious did that grace appear the hour I first believed through many dangers tolls and snares I have already come his grace hath brought me safe thus far and grace will lead me home 
When we've been there 10,000 years, bright shining as the sun, we've no less days to sing God's praise than when we first begun. Praise God, 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 praise God. Praise God, praise God, praise God, praise God, praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. All right. This is what I was scared of post dinner hangover. <laughs> Post dinner hangover. So, now we're glad everybody's here. Good to see everybody. Uh, it was a good day yesterday. Everybody seemed to enjoy themselves, and I believe that we're going to have an even better day in the house of the Lord. Amen. Been feeling His presence ever since we woke up, and normally, normally now that's a very good sign. So I'm excited to be here. Are you excited to be in the house of the Lord? Give the Lord a big hand of praise this morning. Amen. Look back there. We got a newbie back there from Grandpa. <laughs> Sister Tammy got her grandbaby with her. If you need a changing table, I took it out of there down in the nursery. So thought it was a little more sanitary to do that. So <laughs> that's where it's at if you need it. So we're going to pray at this time. Uh, remember those that aren't here. Uh, I know where the biggest portion of them are. Um, remember uh, Sister Billy sits in the back seat there. I called her this morning. Uh, she was having some stomach pain. And uh, turns out she, she had an infection with that junk I had in my side, uh, diverticulitis. And she went in and that was was actually getting to the point to where it was either burst and leaking or it was getting ready to. So then they, they'd done emergency surgery on her and uh, they took several inches of her intestines out. So keep her in prayer this morning. She's in Havity Grace. I believe it's room 404 uh, if you want to uh, call and check on her, let her know that you're thinking about her. So keep her in prayer. Also, um, my Aunt Julie, her husband, Junior, I think uh, his back went out. Is that right? Back when I, and anybody that doesn't know the joys of back pain, you don't know what you're missing. So uh, keep him in prayer also. Uh, Sister Fleming's mom is in a uh, rehab for her heart. She had some heart problems last week. Uh, I believe Sister Fleming said they had to shock it back in the rhythm, and uh, that really drains you. Uh, I've had mine go out, and, you know, I'm still young, and it, it takes a while to get your strength back. So Please remember her. Uh, remember Sister Elma as she uh, continues to heal up and get better. And the uh, list goes on and on. But uh, having said that, by uplifted hand, who has something they want to bring before the church this morning? Glory. Uh oh. Hmm. Amen. Amen. We sure will. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Amen. Like we've been saying, and and she requests that all the time, and it's for that reason. And uh, I've said it. I don't know how many times. We don't really understand how good we have it. Um. 
Hey, gosh, we're in a nice church. It, it's paid for. It's clean. It's air conditioned. We don't have to worry about somebody coming in and putting rules and regulations and, and restrictions down. And we, we hit on a little bit last week about when you have to contend for something, it makes you appreciate it that much more. But with them putting the squeeze on them, folks, watch what God does. Mark it down. Watch what God does for his people. When they start clamping down on you, hey, you stand your peace, you hold your peace, you stand your ground, and watch God work for you. Amen? And God's getting ready to do something on a world scale. Watch. Watch. Uh, we better buckle down. You know, and and what's, what's been in my spirit uh, the last few weeks is uh, some of the things that are going on and, and some of the churches that are calling themselves churches, they're really going to be put to the test to see if what they got is real in the coming days or not. Because listen, we're going to need miracles to get by. You can mark it down. And uh, uh, I believe there's going to be a, a flood to the real houses of God from folks that have been blinded and, and, and been deceived and, and been believing lies. Uh, I believe that the Lord is soon to just uh, uh, rip the rug right out from under some of them. Listen, Jesus is getting ready to come back. Friday night, I worked about 16, 17 hours on, on Friday, and uh, we had to work that event down in Havity Grace, and uh, been a lot of uh, events happening, I should say, or one that's going to happen. They're getting ready to have a gay pride parade, and, and they, have, they had a booth set up down there, and there was a lot of them floating around down there. Uh, but in the midst of all of that, I was walking, <clears throat> walking down to check on some stuff towards the end of one of the streets, and, and I mean, they were all over the place. And, and I saw this uh, one middle-aged Oriental lady, and she was handing out pamphlets, little tracts. And she went to hand one to me and my wife, and we said, no, we're good. We explained, hey, we're, we're saved. We're ready to go. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a preacher and everything. And she had a sign around her, and it said, Jesus is coming. And she looked at me. And she said, we appreciate what you're doing. And she said, listen, she said, he's coming. She said, Jesus is coming. And I said, yeah, you're right, he is. Glory to God, Jesus is coming. And they're all around the place. But you know what? Doesn't bother me one bit. It shouldn't bother you one bit. I know where I'm going. I know that my Redeemer is alive and well. Amen. Come on now. Come on now. One little woman standing out in the crowd. Amen. If God has to use a donkey to get the message across, if God has to use a rooster to crow three times to get the message across, he's going to do it. So why shouldn't you and I, who've been redeemed, who've been washed in the blood of the Lamb, have you ever been washed in the blood of the Lamb? Sister Becky just sung, there's power in the blood. Hallelujah. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. I said, let the redeemed of the Lord say so. You and I and the children of God, the church, has been quiet long enough while everybody else pushes their agendas down our throats. Listen, I've got an agenda to push, and it's called the Bible. I said, I've got something to tell you, and it's a man named Jesus who came 2,000 years ago and took on the form of flesh. And while he was down here, he done things. 2,000 years ago that we still talk about uh, until this present day. And he also gave us some clues uh, about what it's going to be like uh, one day when he said nation would rise against nation and the love of many would wax cold. Oh, hallelujah. But I want you to know there's an event uh, that's getting ready to take place uh, and it's what uh, that little oriental lady was walking down the middle of that street uh, with that
that sign, my God, I wish you could feel what I'm feeling this morning. She was walking down in the midst of all that corruption and the sign said, Jesus is coming. It said, Jesus is coming. My Lord, if you're not excited about his return this morning, I said, if you're not ready for the return of the king this morning, let me tell you this morning, the king of kings and the Lord of lords is getting ready to make his appearance. Oh, hallelujah. And with the sound of the trump of God and the dead in Christ arise first, you and I, hallelujah, are going to be called up together to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever. I said, so shall we ever. I said, so shall we ever be with the Lord. If you love him, raise your hands and magnify the king. My Lord and my God. I wasn't expecting that, but I told you I've been feeling him ever since I woke up this morning. Hallelujah. I've got another day to praise him. I've got another day to preach him. I've got another day to worship him. Hallelujah. And so do you. Hallelujah. I'm excited in the house of God today. Listen, well, listen, you don't program God. Those that are led of the spirits, are the, they are the sons of God. Hallelujah. Are you led this morning? I said, are you led this morning? My Lord, I can't wait. I said, I can't wait. I've been telling you the last couple of weeks, that something new is coming. This week, two times, in person, I witnessed two new things that I had never experienced before. And I shared it with a couple of people. And we've been talking, and one of the fellas that it happened to, I was talking to him when it happened to him earlier this week. He said, I had never he said, Mike, this is something new. I said, yeah, the old's coming back, but something new is coming along with it. The likes to which we have never seen. Oh, good Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Give the Lord a big hand of praise. Jesus is on the move. I said, Jesus is on the move. Can you feel it stirring? Way down deep within, can you feel the Spirit? Jesus cried aloud on the day of the feast. He said, out of your uh, inner boast being shall flow rivers of living water. Good Lord, this he talked. He was talking about the Holy Ghost. I said the Holy Ghost power. Oh, hallelujah. The very Holy Ghost that came on the day of Pentecost. The very Holy Ghost that baptized you and that baptized me and that's getting ready to baptize a lot of more folks in this age that we live in. Oh, hallelujah. He's going to be poured out beyond portion like you've never seen. Why? Because there's a lot of evil. There's a lot of demonic force in this world. So we need something great to combat that with and he is getting ready to give it to us. Oh, hallelujah. My Lord and my God, lift your hands. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My Lord. I got thinking about him this morning. And all the wonderful things that he's done. What, what a sight it had to have been. And I was ready. I had a whole message ready to preach. But I got thinking this morning. Some of the things that we read about that can you imagine being there? Looking up and seeing a man walking on water. My Lord and my God. Ain't no wonder somebody wrote that old song. Let's all go down to the river. They say there's a man walking on the water. My Lord and my God. 
come along with me. Therefore, I want to see that man walking on the water. Let me say that again. I said, let's all go down to the river where there's a man walking on the water. Mm -mm -mm, My Lord, he can make the lame walk. They say he can make the dumb talk. He can open up the eyes of the blind. Well, let's all go down to the river. There's a man walking on the water. Come along with me, for I want to see that man walking on the water. Well, let's all go down to the river. There's a man walking on the water. He can make the lame walk. He can make the dumb talk. Open up the eyes of the blind. Stand with me and sing it. Well, let's all go down to the river. Well, there's a man walking on the water. Come along with me, for I want to see that man walking on the water. Go ahead, Dad, sing it. Hallelujah. I feel like praying for some folks this morning. I feel the presence of God all up around this altar. I want you to get out of those seats. I want you to gather in around this altar and watch God bless you this morning. Watch what God does for you. That's it. Come running. Come running down to this altar. Hallelujah. My Lord, it's like fire inside of this church this morning. I said it's like fire inside of this church this morning. Holy Ghost fire shut up in my bones. Holy Ghost fire shut up in my bones. I don't want to continue. That's it. My Lord, he's falling on them over here. My Lord and my God. It feels just like the day of Pentecost in the house of God this morning. Lord and my God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus is a man at the river. He's watching people's sins away. He will save your soul. You give him control. Be ready for the judgment day. Well, let's all go down to the river. That man is walking on the water. Come along with me. I want to see that man walking on the water. Oh, Jesus is the man at the river. He's watching people's sins away. He will save your soul. You give him control. Be ready for the judgment day. Oh, let's all go down to the river. See that man walking on the water. Come along with me. Lord, I want to see man walking on the water.
Hallelujah. Let's all go down to, to the, the river. river. Sing it. Put your hands together and sing it. on the water. My Lord. Be ready for the judgment day. Where well, Jesus is the man at the river. He's washing everybody's Hallelujah. sins away. Washing it all away. You can get Washing control. it all away. You can get Washing it all away. Be ready for the judgment. My day. Lord. My oh, Lord. Let's all go down Hallelujah. to the river. Let's and have church this morning. I water. said, let's have church this morning. Won't you come along with me. Lord, I want to see that man walking on the water. Jesus is the man at the river. Oh, he's watching everybody's sins away. He will get his soul. You give him control. Be ready for judgment day. Hallelujah. Praise him. Praise him this morning. Praise him this morning. I dare, I challenge you. Praise him with every, praise him with your whole being this morning. Praise him this morning. Hallelujah. My Lord. My God. The power of God. What just happened? There's people all around the altar. With holy hands, with holy hands lifted. Praising the Almighty this morning. He's restoring the spirit of praise. He's restoring it. He's restoring worship. He's restoring it. Hallelujah. I just want to thank. You're here this morning you because you are a chosen vessel to him. Glory chosen and ordained, Jesus said. You heard me pray. I just want to thank you. Just want to thank and praise. Lord, for always be. Yes, Lord. Praying. We're living in the days that the men of Lord, old want to see. And it's upon and us. Out. I said it's upon you us. You came along, Pippi Yucca made me want to shout. Just want to thank Thank you, Lord. Let's take a few minutes out. Thank you, Lord. Just listen to the words of the song. Don't worry about anything else or what you got going on Just after church. Just take a few minutes. You, we can do that. Lord, for every time and thank him and praise him. You heard me pray. Just want to thank you, Lord, for always being there. When I was down, the devil thought he had me out. You came along, picked me up, and made me watch out. Just want to thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. If I had a <laughs> thank you, Jesus. Lives to live, God, we praise you. I'd live them. God, all we praise you this morning. Oh, the Lord. Thank you for all of your blessings. You've been so good. Hallelujah. To me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You made my good times outweigh the bad. You've been the dearest friend I've ever had. Just want to thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Just want to thank you, Lord, for every time you heard me pray. Just want to thank you, Lord, for being there. When I was down, the devil thought he had me out. Jesus, you came along, you picked me up. Made me want to shout. Just want to thank 
you, Lord. Thank you, You see how quick things can change. How quick God can turn things. How fast he can turn situations and how fast he can turn services. I've longed for this day, this presence, this move and for God's people We preached about it a couple of weeks ago as they went up and they were as one. Listen, there is complete unity in this church this morning. You know what? Only God can do that. Only He can do it. Only He can bring a people together. Only He can bring a church together. I don't want to leave this presence, but I want to do something right now. Dad, quit playing for a second. Come down here. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. My Lord, what a presence. Hallelujah. Come over here. Hallelujah. I don't know how many of you know this, but I'm just going to go ahead and say it anyway. I'm his son. I'm the past. I'm I'm just going to go ahead and say it anyway. Found out last week that uh, he has cancer in his kidneys, the outside. And um, so you see him walking around a little weak and not that's, that's what's going on. So... I'm going to ask everybody who knows how to pray. I want you to come up. I want you to come forth. If you can pray the prayer of faith, a lot of folks in here have been touched by this. I want you to lay hands on him, and I just want you to let the Spirit take over, and I want you to pray. I want us to curse this thing. Go ahead and pray.
Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord is good to us, isn't he? So good to us. My Lord. And just like that, he was done. Doesn't take him. I've said it, it does not take God all day to do what he has to do. Look at creation. Just a few days. Everything you see, and then he rested. Thank you, Jesus. I'm not going to even attempt to do anything else after this. So I'm just going to leave this here and like this, and we're going to dismiss in prayer. Then you can shake hands and, and fellowship. And don't forget, we're having an in-house singing tonight. If you can sing or if you want to try, get a couple songs together, and we're going to come and we're going to praise God in song. Amen? All right. Let's bow our heads and pray as we dismiss in prayer this morning. Well, come on. They lost their son about three months ago, and... I talked to uh, my other sister-in-law down there yesterday, and she said they are doing so much better. She said, you know, she said she knew everybody was praying, and she said, thank God they are coming out of it, and I just praise God. I thank yeah. God. Thank God. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Amen. Good news. Good news. That's what the gospel means, good news. That's exactly what it is. Thank you, Lord, for doing that. And God, we thank you for what you are doing now. And Lord, what you are going to do in the coming weeks and in the coming months as you reshape our lives, as you reshape this church world and get it ready for the next great event to happen on your time clock. God, I pray, Lord, that not a one is lost in here on Judgment Day. Lord, that's my prayer. Lord, use everyone in here in some capacity, in some way or another. Lord, where the discouragement and where there's doubt, we pray, Lord, put hope and faith. Lord, where there's sickness, give health. God, we want to thank you for your presence. May we have a continuation of this. Lord, we give you all praise and glory for everything that's done and said. In Jesus' name.